Hello you guys, I'm going to show you a really quick way to do a needle biopsy. Uh, first I'm going to put my gloves on, spray those with a little bit of alcohol. I am going to spray the top, I've wiped it down a little bit already, but spray that with a good dose of alcohol, 70%. <laughs> Just let the alcohol sit right there on top of it. And then I'm going to douse my mushroom cap here with the same 70% and literally just douse it. Um, so that's literally dripping. And then I've got a little pool here. Remember, I'm going to do this when I, within a couple seconds so that ethanol won't really have a chance to soak into the flesh very much. But it's going to surface sterilize it. So again, if you're a little OCD, you know, maybe, which I am, uh, maybe do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I like to open these syringes up a little bit. Well, not really open them up, just kind of fold them back so that you can work faster. And this is where you're going to hold your breath. I'm going to open this syringe. I am going to, uh, well, I'm going to open the syringe and then I'm going to tilt this. I'm going to suck up a little bit of LC. I'm going to clear the needle so there's actually air in the needle, but I'm going to do that inside of the LC jar so it remains sterile. And then, uh, the reason I do that is because I'm not going to be able to get a piece of the, the mushroom flesh into the needle. If it's, uh, if it's got liquid in it. So you want to remember to clear the needle before uh, you take it out of the LC jar and before you jab it into your mushroom flesh there. Okay, so uh, after that it'll be pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop talking and I'm going to hold my breath. I'm not using any filtration. Uh, I'm working in my kitchen and um, yeah, just try to work as quickly as you can. At this point, the needle is inside the jar, so as long as you keep that in there. So I'm going to tilt this, at least the, the type of jars I have, I can tilt it just uh, so I'm through the shift there, the self-healing injection port, and I'm going to pull just a little bit of liquid in there, maybe just three cc's, that's probably enough. And then I'm going to pull up some air again. I want to clear the needle um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out and then I'm going to jab it into that mushroom flesh. So if you wanted to leave that kind of sticking in there, you could. I don't really like doing that. Uh, again, I, I don't like to put things down and, and pick them up and whatnot. So give that another douse of alcohol. Uh, and again, I'm going to stop talking for a second. I'm basically going to pull, hopefully, a, a little core sample. I'm going to go straight through the cap. This is a, a mushroom that hasn't started to sporulate, so you want to get tissue, not spores. So I'm going to try to hit somewhere near the top, and if you can go on like sort of a tangent, that works pretty good too. Um, if it's a bigger cap, you can kind of just go like a little bit in and give the needle a twist. So you want to go straight in, twist, and then come straight back out. Um, so this is like taking a core sample from maybe a, a nice sheet or something like that, or, or you know, lake bottom. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm done with that needle. And the reason why is because if you look down there at the bottom, I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a little chunk floating in there. Um, that is a biopsy. So if you look real close, you can see there's a little chunk floating around in there. Ooh, can't really see it very well. Um, but there is a chunk, believe me. There's a little tiny chunk. It's probably, well, it's only the diameter of an 18 gauge needle, so it's quite small. Now, I'm going to give this a few more shakes, um, and that is to get a little bit of oxygen in there. So the oxygen, after PCing, has been depleted from this liquid uh, media, or LC, liquid culture, uh, well, soon to be cultured. And so I want to get a little bit of oxygen in there. If you don't do this, I wouldn't, don't go up and down, just, just, just vibrate. I got marbles in there. Stir bar, whatever you want to do, if that works too. Um, this doesn't take much though, but do this maybe in the first couple days, do this probably two or three times a day if you can remember to do it. And I am also later on, I'm going to label this and then I'm going to wrap it with my cling wrap here right around the top. Um, in fact, I'll do that now like so and I give it a sometimes probably excessive amount of cling wrap, but cling wrap is a lot cheaper than buying a new coat or dealing with contamination. So. Doing this, remember to give it a little twist at the end so you don't have to peel it off.
next time you use it. And this guy's garbage, needle's garbage. Make sure you don't throw them in the standard bin. Uh, and then I will clear that needle in the sink. And then I will throw that in the biohazard. And then I will label this guy up here. I uh, got one that already started last week. Um, I don't know if you see there, it depends on your LC recipe. I don't know, some people like thick LC, some people like it wispy. I kind of like it on the more wispy side, um, but that's up to you and you can argue amongst yourselves <laughs> to decide which one's best. Bye-bye, see y'all later.